Stacker 7 and today I'm doing a video on five maintenance programs for Windows 7. Um, you guys will download the file in the description below, which will be this file right here. It's a RAR file, and inside this RAR file will have um, all the files that you see in this folder right here. So we have um, CC Cleaner uh, and then Coat. Too hard to say them all. So anyway, so I'm going to show you guys a little program review through all of them and how they can improve your performance. So I'll start right at the top, which is CC Cleaner. So it's going to ask you if you want to run it. Just hit run. Is it set up files? Hit OK. Next. I agree. Um, and you guys can install. Alright, and then you guys can uh, unclick that and hit finish. And this is CC Cleaner. Now, if you guys don't know who CC Cleaner or what CC Cleaner is, it's a program that um, cleans your temporary files, helps fix your registry, and has some other little tools. So, in the options, guys, we have the settings of it, which aren't really important. Most of the, most of these, you guys can just leave alone, um, unless you really know what you're doing. The main um, purpose of this program is the cleaner. So when you have it there, it will automatically have everything selected. That it's, uh, everything's selected already. So all your programs. Um, all you have to do is you can hit clean, run cleaner right away. Or if you want, you guys can hit analyze first. And I'll show you what analyze does. Analyze actually uh, goes through and scans basically all the possible files. And then it tells you how much files can be deleted, how much memory can be um, freed. And stuff like that. Now, um, this helps with the speed of um, internet browsers. Um, even like just going through, it helps a little bit with the speed, but it also f frees up memory. So, as you guys can see up here, um, 19 seconds, and we are f we can approximately free 3,652 megabytes. So, you guys can see. Um, it also clears internet history, so by going to the here, you guys can unclick history, and that will automatically get rid of that. But if you're okay with everything you see, you guys can hit Run Cleaner, and hit OK, and it goes through and does exactly what it just did, except cleans it all. So while this is running, you can't actually go through anything other than this. You have to wait for it to finish. But once it's done, it will give you a little report on what has been cleaned. So, in 17 seconds, it removed 3,683 megabytes. So we have just freed up that much. Now, if we go to the registry tab, you guys hit scan for issues, and then what happens is it will go through and it will find um, unused file extensions, which will be most of them probably, and any other problems you have. Now, uh, what you guys can do after is you guys can hit fix, and it will, it will suggest that you back up your registry. Um, if you guys want, you can. I know we don't because I trust this program, and if push comes to shove, I can on I can get grab go back in time or whatever and grab it. So as you can see, I have a crap load of problems. Every day, your computer will automatically get these um, little unused stuff. So all you gotta do is hit fix, and it says, "Do you want to back up the changes?" I'm just click no, and fix all, and boom, they're all fixed. Under tools, um, we have the uninstall, so we can uninstall some stuff here. The startup, it actually tells you what's in your startup list. Um, so here they are, and you can hit disable or delete, so you can disable one under Internet Explorer, schedule tasks, system restore, and drive wiper. So that using this, you can actually wipe, wipe our hard drive, or etc. So that's about it for CC Cleaner. Um, the next program on our list. Is start delay. I'm oh, sorry, this one right here. And this is a CNET um, download, so we'll have to run their, their installer, which will automatically launch the download. So, next step. I suggest hitting do not accept unless you want the spam toolbar. I think they're kind of stupid. Next step, and there we go. 
All right, say next. Next, 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 install. Now, like the, like CC Cleaner, this actually also cleans um, the registry. So this is a more oh, you can exit out of this. This is a more um, click registry. Click me. All right then. So it has a little pop-up that looks a little weird. Um, if you guys just run from your start menu, it'll come up. So there we go. So now um, the difference between this one and the other one is this one also has a defragger. So or a defrag, sorry. So you guys can defrag it and system tune up. And this also pulls up more. So if we do a start scan, it's going to scan through. Um, also, this thing, this is nice because you guys can run a scheduler. So every um, you know week or so, you guys can have it run through and do an automatic maintenance, which is really good. And you can also do it with um, CC Cleaner, which also takes a little more effort, effort though. It's great though because you guys can have this program um, run when you're not you know when you're at work or ex for example, and you will keep your computer running maintenance and running fast. With no issues, and you no, know, there's no problems there, and you don't have to do much. All right, so we're back here, and it found a crap load of issues. Um, as you guys can see, though, the application paths were clean, and that's what um, CC Cleaner did itself, I believe, and these ones right here. So there was still, you know, a couple hundred um, issues. So you guys hit start cleaning there. It creates a backup for you guys, and uh, so under system tune-up, it says uh, you, know, you, have, you have options here to optimize. I'm not going to do that because I have actually optimized it to look differently. So I'm not going to go through that. And the registry defy guys, you can hit analyze, and it will. Uh, As you guys can see, PC is unresponsive for a few seconds. Alright, so here we go, guys. It says it can help reduce my registry size by 5.55%, which again also uh, helps spew the computer and um, also helps with memory. So you guys hit defrag there. Um, it says your, your PC would be ugly you want to start now. So I'm going to hit no because I don't want to end the video obviously so you guys can uh, do that yourself in the settings here guys you have a couple different things you have auto runs um, blank yeah no, nothing big alright so the next program on our list would be start delay you guys can hit run I agree next install no Alright, so uh, now uh, it's installed it, it's optimizing start startup delayer for my system. This could take a minute. Alright, so looks like looks like it's installing our the program. There we go. So at the end you hit finish and it right, launches it for you guys. Alright, so Why not? Yes. So it comes with a little help file, which is pretty useful. Um, yes. So this is uh, how do you want it to start fast or it starts smooth? So um, it's a gesture right here, so you guys hit save. All right. So in here, guys, you have what is it? System requirements. Nothing big. Alright, in here, guys, you guys can see we have all the 
um, things that are open. So I've already done most of it with a lot of programs. Um, you guys can once you find something you don't want though, like I don't want to have AVG actually. So what you gotta do, all you gotta do is you guys can hit automatic delay, so you guys can um, change it to when you want it to uh, start, or you guys can hit manual delay, so it starts by itself. If you right click on the file, you have application properties, all this stuff right here. Now this one right here, I don't want it all, so I'm gonna hit delete, and that was like permanently deleted. Now by clicking on a um, something like this. You guys can again manually or automatically delay it. By right clicking, you guys can launch it now. So, uh, select it in Explorer so it opens up where it is in your computer. Uh, you guys can disable, delay, edit user note, more information. So, you can automatically search Google or search the process library. So, it goes to the. So, didn't, didn't match anything. That's it for this program. Um, up here we have running tasks, so everything that's currently running, which is like task manager. And you guys can right click on something and do stuff like that. And then you have system services, which again is like task manager. Again, the difference from that task manager though is that you have the option to search stuff. So, I found for two H's, but um, I was typing that. Oh, let's put Apple roll. So if I was to have Apple, I get a couple of different iPod uh, stuff there. So that's what this program, guys. It's a pretty uh, easy to use program. Again, good, another good program. We have TCP or Optimizer. And for people that don't know what TCP is, it relates to your internet. So this guy right here is your internet stuff. So this is completely um, for internet. So here you guys can up, uh, change your speeds. Advanced settings, BEP, um, MTU, and with the registry, of course. So, if you guys have, don't know what this program is or don't really know how to use it, I'm not gonna say you should really use it. Um, you guys can go here and just go to click one of these options, then hit apply if you want to change it a bit. Otherwise, um, just leave. You, this program is one of the ones that I suggest not using if you don't know what you're doing. The last one is called TerraCopy. So we'll quickly install this one here. So we have the normal or portable version. I'm going to start the normal version just so I can search it. Again, guys, uh, this file right here, the RAR file with, with all these programs in them, will be available in the description below so you guys can check that out. And if, and if, don't forget to follow uh, me on Twitter. TerraCopy, boys. Um, we have this right here, so we have the pro version right here, so we can drop a file there, so just uh, here, so just take a file here, um, and so now I can copy to move to verify, it's like that. This right here, um, I find this is useful when you want to use you want to do a lot of programs at once, you guys can hit copy, move, you know, whatever. Alright, so that's that's it for that program, boys. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Again, all these these uh, programs will be available in the description below. Besides that, have a great day. This is the Hacker 007, and I'm signing off.